well, I think it was Sonia. Excuse me. Excuse me? Why don't you ever compete with us anyway? Scared, huh? Thank you. But today is not a good day. Ha! Chickening out? Well, makes sense. All four eyes are cowards. I'm not a chicken. I... Just ignore him, Val. So, wanna do it again? Totally! Bucky. Hello, Bjorn. Hello, Val. Why are you so upset? No reason. It's just that the raccoons invited me to the obstacle course, but I got scared. Sammy said it's because I'm of four <laughs> eyes. He said that? Oh! I'm gonna make you super glasses, and you'll be the coolest four eyes ever! Val, everyone has their weaknesses. You just need to get over yours. All you need to do is believe in yourself, work up the courage, and it's... Ugh, gonna be great. Here, come on, put them on! Whoa! Okay, Val, go to the raccoons. Show them that I'm really awesome. Oh, I mean, you're awesome. Hey, Sonia, did you see me dodging those wooden mallets? Huh? Huh? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Sammy, I accept your offer to have a race through the obstacle course. Yeah. What? You? <laughs> you can't be serious. Come on, Sammy. Let Val give it a shot. The rules are pretty simple. The first one to make it to the finish line wins the race. Well, Super Glasses, I need your help. One, two, three, and go! My super glasses! Sonia, check it out! It looks like someone is afraid of heights! Val, everyone has their weaknesses. You just need to get over yours. be really cool and tough. Great job, Val. That was something. How did you do that? Well, all you need is to believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> are totally yummy. Num nummy. No. I love them like I love life. This bear could barely bear his love of berries. Marry me, berries. There's no such thing as too many berries. Num, 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 num. 
Berries! I love berries. I'm done. Totally filled my basket. Bucky, how does your basket look? Well, it isn't totally full yet. I don't pick just any old berries. I only pick the best. You'll put anything in your basket. Phew. I'm done. Completely full. Pretty cool, right? Whatever. Basket filling's boring. That's it. I'll build something to handle the boring stuff that I don't like to do. Genius time! I'm very happy to present to you my brand new Helpomatic Assistobot! That's pretty awesome. What does your Assistobot do, Bucky? It does anything! For example, it can pick raspberries. Berries! Watch it pick! It picks them really quick! Quite a trick! They'll be all picked in a tick! Hey, my bot is pretty slick! Mount Raspberry, yeah! Berries! This means we'll have enough raspberries for a hundred jars of yummy jam! Bucky, what fishing bait do you think is the best? It's bread, right? Puzzle! Ha! Bjorni, we really don't need bait. All we need is the Assistobot. Can this robot really catch fish, Bucky? And how? Just look! Fish, 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 fish. fish. You want fish? Here's fish. Let's go see Franny. Uh, does this mean we won't be fishing at all ourselves? Why waste our time on it? Now we can do something more fun. I am making jammy. Yes, indeed, I am. Jam, 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 jam. Hey, Franny, huh? look at this mountain of fish we just caught. Want to make some carp jelly or something? Uh, carp jelly? But I'm still working on the punch and jam. Don't worry about it. A Sisto bottle do that. Take a look. Just watch the robot cook. He's off the hook. For the little time this took, he should be in a record book. Fish pie! Oh, the <laughs> robot is incredibly helpful. Fish pie, fish pie. Well, at least let me pour everyone some juice, juice huh? Juice, juice. But there's nothing for me to do. Juice? Huh? Juice. Let's play ball. Just you try and catch this one, buddy. Ooh. All right, ready? Soccer! Uh, oh. Hey, watch the bot. Aw, oh, you know the drill. Will he catch the ball? Yep, you know he will. This game is going way downhill with a lot of bot and zero thrill. The assisto bot does everything in everything that's happening. The annoyo bot does all the stuff and having fun is getting tough. Well, I've had enough. Constellations. Push. Push. So, guys, want to do something? Well, we could hunt for buried treasure. Huh? 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 Treasure. Or we could put on silly costumes and take pictures of ourselves in them. Silly huh? pictures. Hmm. Your robot sucks the fun out of every idea. Uh, we could try badminton. Badminton. Nah, wouldn't work, would it? The Assistobot would play for us while we stood off and watched like bumps on a log. Uh, oh, got an idea! All right, listen. First, I'm gonna need a bucket full of holes. Bucket holes. Sure. Hi, 
there, fellas. And what are we up to today? Hey there, Franny. Bucky and I are trying to build this Ferris wheel. And we should be finished in no time. <laughs> hey, what's that? Instructional manual. Um, you fellas will probably be needing this, right? You are doing it in the order it says, yeah? We don't need instructions. Instructions are for amateurs, right, Bjorn? I don't know, Bucky. Bolts and nuts and gears and screws. Gonna build this thing the way I choose. And I'll never, ever, ever use instructions. No way! I refuse. With my lefty loose and righty tight. Gonna build a thing that's out of sight. Gonna fill the world with pure delight. Cause I'm always right. Well, I'm not sure this is right. Hey, no worries at all. I'm just warming up. Second time's a charm. Well, the instructions say that the very first step... Franny, if you want to be helpful, go to my house and fetch my red screwdriver. Pretty please? Fine. Franny, could you pop by my place and grab my thermos of tea too, please? We've got a long way to go. Bucky, come on. This place looks like a bomb went off. There's no way I'm leaving here without cleaning. How's that? I still think we're not quite there. Yeah, I guess you could be right. Well, we'd be fine if I had my lucky screwdriver. Franny's been gone forever. Ugh, I'll get it myself. That must be some screwdriver. No! What? Bucky, your house looks weird. My hammer's gone. Where is it? And where's my drill? My drill! Plus my nails! My beautiful little nails! That Franny! How dare she clean my house like that? Um, well, it's kind of nice. It's so neat, and everything's in its place. But everything was already in its place. This is supposed to be an oil. These shouldn't have gotten wet. Look at them! Why? Oh, it's all ruined! Hey, guys! I got your favorite tool! Bucky, admit it. Franny did a good thing. Your house was a disaster. Bet she used instructions, right? I'll tell you what, Bjorn. How would you feel if she messed up all your stuff? And then I said it was a good thing. Well, my house doesn't look like a pigsty. Just look. It's perfect, right? Oh, yeah. It's perfect. I especially love the strings of pretty flowers everywhere. It's very you, Bjorn. Flowers? On my fishing rods? What on earth is going on here? Very nice. Looks like everything's in its place. It's a good thing, right, buddy? Wouldn't you say so? A really good thing? Why would she do this? My plants and herbs? Franny, you can't just put these things anywhere, you know? Everything was already in its place. It'll be all right. We'll both fix our houses later. Let's go build that Ferris wheel. I'm gonna tell that Franny something. She should learn to mind her own business and stuff. I've got a thing or two to tell her as well. You'll see. <gasps> Isn't that... That's our Ferris wheel! So when did you have time to build it? I had nothing huh? to do with it. But who cares? I call dibs on the rocket! I want the chubby reindeer! Franny, really? <laughs> you put together the Ferris wheel? Well, yeah, I did. While I was waiting. It wasn't very hard. I just followed the instructions. Care for a ride, then? You're really something, Franny, you know that? Sometimes it's good to have everything in its place. That is very true, and maybe once in a while, it helps to read the instructions. And now we ride. <laughs> <laughs> right, Leo. Keep it up. Uh, all right, up. Do it. Come on, just jump. You can do it, Leo. Hey, Bucky. What's going on? 
Uh, Bjorni, hi there. Um, I'm just training Leo. That sounds awesome. Uh, I think. What's a Leo? Not what, who? Leo is my tiger. He's the star attraction of my new circus. I'm starting a circus, by the way, because I rock. Guys, hi, good morning. Um, so what's all this then? Well, see, Bucky is trying to train Leo here. Fantastic. What's a Leo? Use your eyes. He's clearly a tiger. Come on. You gotta work with me a little bit here. Circus tiger failure. I was up all night tigerizing my remind o -matic. Bucky, it's kind of silly to dress that bot thing up like a tiger. Yeah, you should be training real live animals. Dangerous ones, like Chicky. I actually have a book about animal training. Yeah? That looks pretty cool. Can I borrow it? By this time tomorrow, I'll be the greatest animal trainer oh. in the history of forever! <laughs> All right, how to train. Warning, dangerous animals can be dangerous. That's boring. Now then, one, getting started. Show the animal who's in charge. Hopefully that's you, the trainer. One way to do this is to scare them. Aha! Uh -huh. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Chicky, stop it! It's just Bucky! You're pecking my brain! Stop! Get off of my head! Why don't we just skip a step about showing you I'm in charge? So what's the next step? Act out for the dangerous beast the tricks you wanted to perform and reinforce correct actions by giving the beast yummy, tasty treats. All right! Chicky! Here, Chicky, Chicky, Chicky! <coughs> yummy, 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 yummy! At it, Chicky, come on! Circus Chicky, training time! He's gonna learn to bounce and climb and tightrope walk and pantomime. I'm a circus trainer in my prime. He'll learn to jump and learn to swing. He'll learn to do most anything because in circus training, I'm that king. Think of all the awesome we're gonna bring to the center ring! Chicky, you were great! Perfect moves! You can have a cookie now. Mammals of all ages! Welcome to the very first ever performance of the circus trainer, Bucky! Featuring the one-of-a-kind phenomenon, Tiger Chicky! Chicky? Um, Tiger Chicky? Come on, up! Chicky, you don't want to embarrass me, do you? Uh, we practiced all night! Do something! You'll get a cookie! Huh? Chicky, what's wrong? Not even one little trick? Then fine! more than a trainer. Well, since I train myself, I'm both, which is pretty epic. Let's just agree I'm a phenomenal circus king. Oh. Ugh, but I never want to see another one of these cookies in my life. Uh-oh. In Bird's Words. Hey, Bjorn. Hi, Franny. Why are you guys just laying there? How are you, 
Bucky. Me and Franny are listening to the birds singing way up in the sky. We're getting in touch with this majestic forest and its creatures. Are you nuts? You can't get in touch with birds. They're not talking. They're just chirping. Isn't that right, Chicky? If bears and foxes talk, I say birds talk too. Sure wish I could understand them, though. Not a problem. I'll just go and invent you a bird translatoratron. And when you can hear what the birds are saying, you'll hear that it's a bunch of nonsense. Maybe. Or maybe it's the prettiest poetry ever. Tweet and chirp and twit and hoot. <laughs> Gotta make all of these sounds compute. Gonna prove to them that not a single bird <laughs> has ever, ever, ever said a single word. That's absurd. I give to you the world's only genuine Top translator. Yes, I'm awesome. You're welcome. The Chirpatronic Tron. Sometimes I even amaze myself. I blow my own mind. It is cool if it works. If? Let's test it on a heron. I've always thought that herons looked a little bit shifty. They hang around swampland, sleep standing on one leg. Goodness knows what they eat, too. A highly suspicious lifestyle. Then let's go listen to whatever they've got to say. <laughs> through this mega swarm of mosquitoes. Uh, maybe they're nice mosquitoes that don't bite. Oh! Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> Go bite Bjorn! <laughs> He's way sweeter than I am! Uh, we need to be wearing some kind of body armor! Ow! Just maybe I can talk to him with this thing! <laughs> they're sort of similar to houseflies, and that's what I beta tested this on! <laughs> Bjorn, Franny, can you guys stand on either side of me? I just need to keep them out of my eyes for a second. Buzz, 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 buzz. Why are you saying that? Well, obviously I'm speaking to them in mosquito language, duh. Buzz, 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 buzz. No way. Let's hear it for technology. So what did you tell them, Bucky? I just told them there were some super sweet tasting French bears over the hill. <laughs> Strange, right? It got really quiet out of nowhere. The mosquitoes aren't buzzing, and not a peep from the frogs. Well, that's a good thing. It'll be easier for us to hear what the herons sing. Bucky, all of the herons are gone as well. What's going on? Where could all the creatures be? Well, I guess we should find out, guys. There! A witness! I'll just question that suspicious-looking owl, and we'll find out everything. All right, Beaky, out with it. Tell us what's going down in this swamp. Specifically, where are all the herons? The frogs left, so the herons have gone to find food. Huh. Uh, so why did all the frogs leave? What'd you do to them? The mosquitoes flew away, so the frogs pursued. Because mosquitoes are the frogs. Yeah, the food chain, circle of life, nature stuff. I think that we've broken it. Well, if we've broken it, then we've got to fix it again. Well, first we have to get the mosquitoes back into the swamp. All right, team. We've got an important job to do. Operation Frog Food. Buzz, 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 buzz. I'm actually happy to see mosquitoes. Frack, 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 are you sure about this? You're sure the mosquitoes aren't going to bite us? Of course! Frack, frack, Bjorni, since mosquitoes are eaten by frogs, frack, frack, mosquitoes have to be completely terrified by frogs. Frack, 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 Listen to that! The frogs are frack, 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 coming back. Hooray! That means the herons will come back. All right, follow me. Frack, 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 Are they still over there? Yeah. Why are they dressed like frogs, do you think? Who can tell? One of them appears to have a crude chirptronic tron. <laughs> That's so cute. As if a bear brain could ever understand the things we say. Discoverer! Ha, ha, ha.
of precious herbs hanging up here. But who would come and take them like that? Interesting. Very interesting. Clue! Using my awesomely great brain, I've done an ultra-smart, double-deep investigation. I've studied all these mysterious prints, and I've managed to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it wasn't me. Then who did it, though? Well, there's only one real suspect. And that, of course, is... Bigfoot. Definitely. You know who we should really be asking about this stuff is Bjorni. All right, then let's go see him. Bjorni, hey there. Can you please help us? You know about nature and stuff, right? All experty, we were hoping that you could tell us where Bigfoot lives. Who? If he's threatened you to keep it quiet, like if he's watching us, blink twice. Ha! I was right! It was Bigfoot who stole my prettiest daisy right out of my garden! Hey, wait! Somebody took all the medicinal herbs while I was drying them! And these are the thief's footprints right here! Yep, these are definitely from Bigfoot. As can plainly be seen, my footprints are much smaller. All right, then. We should find Bigfoot and make friends with him, then ask him to return our things. But we don't know how to find Bigfoot. Let's find a way to track him down. Well, he does tend to leave footprints. Could be if we all just follow those, we'll find him. Great idea. Get ready, Bigfoot. Here we come. Where will they lead? Where do they go? If we proceed, then soon we'll know. Um, they end here. Well, he might have jumped super far, or maybe he flew. We need to think like Bigfoot. So he went to my place, and he came here to Bjorn's house. So where else do we think he might go? Right. Where would he be? Well, it stands to reason that if Bigfoot went to both of your places, he'd go to mine as well. Any bright ideas of how we're going to catch Bigfoot once we find him? Because I've got one. A net. <laughs> Wow, just look at this horrible mess. We were right. You've had a visit from Bigfoot. Nah, it's always like that. Guess we beat Bigfoot here, which is good. We should hide. Then when he gets here, we could pounce. The second that he gets here, I'll shout, get him, everybody, and then everybody will get him. Then I'll shout, let him have it, and we then... We give him punch and cookies. Are you serious? You know what? Just do what I do. to science. And I'm happy to give my daisy. And I'll give it Chicky. Isn't it just amazing and wonderful and cool that our plants are on their way to a whole other planet? It's so cool that we solved the mystery all together. It was out of this world. Yeah. We unraveled the mystery of the alien but we still haven't figured out Bigfoot. Bucky lends a hand. Come on, Bjorn, go for it! Uh, it kind of works, right? I'm 
pretty sure you don't play soccer with pine cones. Funny, Bucky. Our ball ended up in the stinging nettles. Ha! And you're scared of a few nettles? I got this. Around here. Could you lend us a hand? Yes, I can. I'll be right back. You're going down, nettles. Oops, a little carried away. Hey, our ball. Thanks very much, Bucky. Yeah, you're like a one bear rescue service or something. If you need something, let me know. Bucky, lend me a hand? Something's up with my TV. For some reason, it isn't working. Right. <laughs> Time to be super awesome! <laughs> you call that an antenna? I'll put up a pro antenna array. You'll be able to pick up TV shows from Mars. No, wait, Jupiter! He's here to lend a hand. Just wait till you see what he's planned. He's the helpingest bear in the whole darn land, and his services are in high demand. Oops, a little carried away with the size. But bigger is better, right? And I used a lot of tape so it shouldn't fall. Looks like my TV's working super. And I've got some really awesome new channels. <laughs> Razor Vision, you're welcome. Incredible, Bucky, thanks. Not a problem. Maybe you could put a positive review up on my webpage. That'd be great. Hey there, handsome. Bucky, I need a hand. My whole poor garden is in the shade. Don't panic. <laughs> I'll get it sorted, friend. Yep. It's from Franny's antenna. No worries, Bjorn. I'll just set up another light for you. It'll be way better than the sun. All right, then. I just need to design something that will ultra-mega shine. Yeah, the sun is fine, but it doesn't shine like mine. Oops, carried away with the shine. Now everything's growing too fast. You'll be all right. You can just eat faster. Sure, okay. Thanks a lot, Bucky. Don't mention it. Help is my middle name. Huh? Oh. Chicky, what? Do you need a hand with something? See, the thing is, we're actually closed for business today. But since it's you, I suppose I could make an exception. All right, lead the way. Bucky, hurry, put everything back like it was! Ah! I'll sort it all out as soon as we get away from Dragonflyzilla! <laughs> Bjorni, let's hide in the forest! <laughs> Too much forest left to hide in. Uh, let's go to Franny's. Uh, hey, Bucky, there's TV on my iron. I'm getting TV on everything. That antenna is just too strong. Um, is that a giant dragonfly? Why wasn't this on the news on my iron? Well, Franny, I think your extra strong antenna won't be a problem for much longer. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, Buck, care to lend a hand? Oops, I got kind of carried away, but I learned a thing or two today. Bucky's helping hand is here to stay, but I'll try to tone things down, okay? Bucky, what are you doing? I'm just replacing the nettles I cut down. I'm gonna say that's taking it too far, buddy. Oops, got a little carried away. Undersea Odyssey! Batten down the something! Hoist the mizzen thing and swab the anchor! Scuttle the rudder, yo-ho-ho! -ho. 
Bjorni, did I forget anything? You forgot to do everything except talk weird. Oh, you're right. I need to load my stuff. Hey, guys. Good morning. Why are you putting all your stuff into that big pressure cooker? It's not a cooker at all. It's a submarine, a boat that goes underwater. It's pretty cool. It's like an under-the-sea expedition. Hey, can I come with you? I'd make a really great captain. We've already got a really great captain, thanks. And plus, according to maritime law, little kids aren't allowed on submarines. Yeah, submarines can be dangerous, and you're too little. Mm. I'll show you who's too little. Mm. <laughs> Catastrophe incoming, dude! <laughs> 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 Someone help! Brandy! Just press the red button! Turn the submarine off! But the red button really isn't very pretty. I'm gonna press the pink one! It matches the jellyfish on my shirt! <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for my life and I'm way too scared to even run! Fine. Well, when do we leave, guys? I didn't get to press all of the buttons yet. Franny, remember what we said? That submarine voyages can be dangerous? You made them dangerous on land, too. Heck, I'm not at all scared of a little danger. I'm sure you're not, but we are. You're not coming. Wait, here's something. I made a submarine for training and stuff. It looks just like the real one. I tell you what, if you pass the training, then you can be captain. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Don't tell me there's something I can't do. Yeah, I'm small, but I'm just as smart as you. <laughs> and it's not important, but I'm cuter, too. Uh-huh, you know it's true. So look out, world. Franny's coming through. Franny, why don't we go ahead and start with the hardest challenge? You'll be saving a dolphin. Remember, everything you see on your screen, we'll see on this screen. You got it? I got it. And when I'm through passing your testy poo, I'm captain. True? Worry about that after the test. She really wants my job. No matter what happens, this hat is mine. <laughs> so now, little fox, let's just see if you've got all the stuff it takes to command at sea. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be rolling back. Guys, look at me. I think I'm drifting out to sea. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly gee. Oh, it's a dolphin. Hey, are you lost, pal? Don't worry. I'll help you find your way home, boy. Hey, buddy. Be careful out there. Don't get caught on the reefies. A uh, bug? Uh... Hey, don't eat me. I'm helping you. Uh, uh, uh. Look, there goes another dolphin. Know what? This one seems nicer. I'll save it. I can't look. I can. Where was that one button? Look at all the pretty pastel dolphinies. Bye. Do you think she's okay? Sure, maybe. No. Oh, thank goodness. <sighs> hey, Bucky, Franny just saved a dolphin for real in our training sub, which is pretty epic. Well, oh, did I pass? You were just astonishing, Franny. It totally blew my mind that you weren't even a little scared of that huge shark. Yeah, and you were just like, whatever. That was a shark? I thought it was a dolphin that went to the gym a lot. Franny, my friend, we'd be proud to call you our captain. <sighs> <laughs> World of Fantasy. Onward, brave Franivir, to battle and victory, Sir Bjornsalot. Hey there, 
guys. So what are you up to with those sticks? Are you building a fire? These aren't sticks. These are swords. And the stump is a castle. We're playing knights and dragons. It's pretty fun. Hmm. But you have to pretend that that really is a castle. Use your imagination. Yeah, well, I could do that. Or I could just invent something that would make everything that you can imagine come to life. Imagination's fine and all, but it needs a bucky overhaul. Cause I think just thinking is thinking small. With the dream machine that I install, we'll have a ball. <sighs> Get ready to applaud your dainty paws off. Meet the huh? fantasy -itizer. Now you can go inside a real live fantasy world. Hey, cool! Awesome, Bucky! There's no way. That's totally impossible. It's impossible? Watch this. I'll just imagine I have a sword in my hand. Oh. Thank you, fantasy advisor. Buckle your seatbelts, because things are about to get unreal. Huh? Go on, imagine something. There you go, Franny. Now, Bjorn. Mm, I imagine that we are nice. Oh, cool, yeah! And I imagine a castle! Look out! The castle is defended by a dragon. And he breathes fire from his ears. Nah, that's taking it too far. There's no such thing as dragons. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. It's just not realistic. It's not realistic. It's not supposed to be realistic, Bjorny. We're supposed to be fantasizing. If you don't like it, then you don't have to play. All right, then I won't. No such thing as a dragon. I'm gonna find a renaissance fair. Those nerds are accurate. All right, Bucky. What now? Battle? Hang on. What we need is an awesome catapult, right? Yeah, but like a pretty one. <laughs> Ooh, and the castle really has to have a moat. With dolphins! I really like so it. So do I. Let's attack it. Charge time! <laughs> Oops. That's from my imagination. Yeah, and that's from my imagination. Franny, you've got to stop imagining things. I'm trying, but I just can't stop myself. Yeah, I can't stop either. <laughs> this is getting pretty weird. Fantasy it, Icer. It's time to take you off. Well, we took them off. Now who's gonna clean up after our brains? Well, it should probably be somebody who knows how to control their imagination. Someone who likes to be all realistic and stuff. Ring any bells with you? Actually, yeah, I think I know someone. Bjorn could de-imaginationize the forest for us. Bjorny, hey, Bjorny, come up here. So we were wondering if you could help us make sense of all the stuff we imagined. Our brains kind of made a huge mess. I see. So you lost control of your imaginations, did you? Uh, you guys are all over the map here. What is that, a unicorn? Nope, no such thing. Lose the snowman, because it isn't winter. Nope, nope, nopity nope. Crazy imaginations. Imagination's great, but it isn't supposed to be real. You're right. Pretending stuff is cool because you're just pretending it. I'm gonna uninvent the fantasy advisor. Huh? You're a great friend, Bjorn. Thanks. Well, after all that imagining, I'd say we're ready for a snack. How about cakes at my place? Cakes are a perfect idea. But why walk that far? We could just put on the helmet and imagine them. Giant cakes, talking cakes. Bucky, are you serious? Yes, I am. Seriously kidding. <laughs> In a video game.
There and there! Perfect! Just feast your eyes on this fine architectural marvel! Hey, what's that? Like a lump or something? Bjorni? This isn't a lump at all. It's an igloo. You know, like my house. Yeah, but I made a skyscraper, Bjorn. That's what it is? I thought it was a stump. Franny, hey, so what is this you've made? A coliseum, where ancient civilizations held all kinds of contests. Fighting, jumping, fencing, plus chariot racing. Brainstorm time. We should have contests ourselves, right? We definitely should. Franny, hey, you make the medals. You should probably measure my neck first. I think I'll just make a cake, all right? I don't need to measure anything, Bucky, because I already know how much cake your tummy holds. <laughs> All right, Bjorn begins training for the forest games. Whee! <sighs> it's the day of the contest. I'd better build up my skills. Wait, better? I'll just level up my skills. Through the magic of video games, I can master every single event, all while sitting on my furry bottom. Goodness, but I love the 21st century. train as much as I wanted for the contest. Don't worry. Being part of the games matters more than winning. I couldn't agree more. And I'll say as much while feasting on my victor's cake. Well, if you're ready to get going, boys, let's get these games started. Chicky? <whistles> Thus, with the puffing of the sacred noisemaker, I declare, woo! The forest games open! Which button do you push to kick the ball again? I don't remember. Uh... uh ah. Huh? Uh, ah. Ha! That bar is way too low. I'll move it to the top and I won't even touch it when I jump. <laughs> huh? Hey, Bucky, you were right. When you jump, you didn't even touch it. That's strange. When I practiced in the video game, I jumped much higher. I'm a double secret black belt in video game kung fu. There's no chance whatsoever of me getting beaten. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my controller. Can we hit reset? my friend, but it won't help you when I turn my nitrous on. Hmm? What's going on here? This game has gotten really glitchy. I beat the final boss in my video game in like 30 seconds. Prepare to get sliced by the master. Ah! All right. The Forest Games have come to an end, and Bjorn is the winner! Let's hear it for Bjorn! Woo! Hooray! Thanks very much. The difficulty level must have been set higher than I thought or something. Or maybe you should have gotten off your furry bottom. Hey, here, Bucky. We decided to give you a prize as well. That's awesome! A winner's cake of my very own? Cooler. It's sort of like a video game where you level up for real. Dumbbells? For real? Seriously? Get it? It works on more than one level. Piece of cake, right, Buck? Contact? 
time to... What's that word again? Oh, yeah. Check. Time to check all the stuff. Food supply for 103 days. First, make Yorn, please state the mission goals in ten words or less. It is to boldly go where no bear has gone before. And? And to establish contact with real-life aliens. That's right. Well done, unpaid voyage intern Franny. Your next assignment is to try and find some rocket fuel. Go! Button test, check. Proceeding with a test of the ship's systems. First test, I'm pretty sure this turns on the windshield wipers. Bucky, we barely got any fuel in the tank! That was not the wiper lever. Oopsie, it collapsed, just like last time. And like the time before that. Yeah, looks like we're not very good at building houses. But we have to live somewhere. Yep, I guess we should keep trying. Let's try it roof first this time. Huh? huh? Uh... Looks like my rocket is faster than I thought. What, was that like 10 seconds and I'm on another planet? Uh... So I guess it's Captain's Log time. Captain's Log, around lunchtime, the alien world looks a lot like Earth. Whoa, I've spotted a tribe of alien natives. I will try to make contact. Howdy, you guys. I am Bucky Bear. I've come here from the faraway planet Earth. Right, they can't understand my language. I should try something different. What's with him? I'm not sure. I think he thinks we're aliens for some reason. I don't care what planet you're from. Everybody speaks chocolate chip cookie. 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 Yes. Cookie. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yummy. I think we're going to love living in this forest. Should we tell that weird little bear that we aren't really aliens? Yeah, we'll tell him when the cookies are gone. Or nom nom nom, space dudes. Seems the aliens were building some kind of hut. Where I come from back on Earth, I'm a mega famous inventor. How about I build a hut for you? <laughs> aliens for real see reals. I can't describe how cool this feels. Need a place to hang your ET hat? I'm gonna help you out, cause I'm great at that. In the name of Galactic Brotherhood, I'm gonna build you a house that's super good and super sweet and super rad. Are you ready to feel super glad? Cause here's your pad! Done! A present from Earth! It's yours! Head on in! Enjoy! <laughs> What was that? Ah, you're trying to tell me that you'd like to have a television. <laughs> Ta-da! Big old flat screen. With a gaming system, why not? Swing set, laptop, rackets, movie couch, iron stove, pine pod dock. Phew! And here's your smart fridge. Fine, I get it. Phew! Great! Pool for my new alien buddies. Bucky, there you are! We've looked everywhere. We were really worried the ship crashed. Oh, hey! Thanks for finding Bucky for us. Franny is my name, and that's Bjorn there. And you've already met Bucky. Sammy! Sonia! Really happy to know you. We really like it here. We were thinking we might stay. But we come in peace. Wait a minute! You guys aren't really aliens? And you both were just messing with me this whole darn time? Uh. Run for it, Sammy! Quick! <sighs> Somebody should make a reality show out of this. Totally. Bucky, we apologize. We just stink at building houses. We had nowhere to live, and you were just so good and kind. And really geniusy. Huh? Oh, Bucky, they needed your help. You have to let them stay. That was the heart of our mission, wasn't it? You just made contact with raccoons when we didn't know any before. Yeah? Well, all right. You guys can stay. You can keep the house, but no way am I going to build you a pool. Thanks! That's very fair. Yeah, we don't need a pool at all. Oh, but a water park. A water park? Uh, yeah, sure. A water park would be cool, but you're helping. If we work together, we can build a water park that's out of this world. Now, museum, now you don't.
Bucky, if you're sleeping, then stop it. Bucky, Bucky, look at this. I found some buried treasure. Come with me, Bucky. I'll show you where I found it. Right here. Holy moly. We should go in and find some more. Come on in. The dirt's fine. Oh, I found another vase. No, no, no. A shovel just ain't gonna cut it for a job this size. Brilliant time. We need a treasure digger, Tron. When you think there's treasure in the ground, sitting there, just waiting to be found. Just ground and screw and weld and pound. Then you'll be a first-rate treasure hound. Hey, Bjorn, I'm very proud to present to you my new Digomatic Tronotron. We'll get everything out of this hole in no time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we going to put all this stuff? There's enough here to fill a museum. What a brilliant idea! Let's build a museum! Build a place that's big enough for all our awesome arty stuff. Yeah, my polar bear best, pal and me, built a gallery. Hey, Buck, what would you say this bucket doohickey was? It's, uh, uh, this is clearly a knight's helmet from medieval times. I'm not sure. Looks kind of like a bucket. But of course, a really ancient one. That is not a bucket! Look at this! It's a genuine, real live, bona fide Brave Knight's helmet! Wait, you know what? It might be a bucket after all. A really ancient one. All right, what's this, Mr. Smart Bear? I think that it's either a shovel or a harpoon. An ancient shovel or harpoon. Yeah, very ancient. We'll put it here, like so. Branny and Chicky have just got to come to our museum. I do have a mild culture allergy. Achoo! So here is our new museum of really ancient stuff. I'm so thrilled to show you a really ancient tea set. Once used by real cavemen to prepare real cave tea. How historical! Hey! Chicky, come on! Don't touch the really old stuff. This is a bucket from the golden age of janitor dinosaurs. It was made from the helmet of a chivalrous knight who lost it battling an emu. So exciting! And this, my dear visitors, is a real caveman shovel. Awesome! It looks just like a modern one. Hey, Franny, hey! What's wrong with you? Never touch the stuff at a museum. Ancient stuff turns to dust if you touch it wrong. Boys! What's up with that? Uh, why does that guy get to put his paws all over the ancient stuff? That's not fair. Huh? Okay, what on earth was that? I have no idea. <gasps> what if it was like the ghost of an ancient cave knight or something? Ah! Huh? Bjorni! The ghost is back! Oh, it's definitely an ancient knight spirit. Sir grabs a lot. You're really not supposed to touch this stuff at a museum. It's really old and it's flimsy. Hey, Franny! Mm -hmm. Shh. Uh, huh. Who's there? It's just us. Oh, um, hello. Uh, welcome to my humble home. Um, your, your home? home? This really is your home? Uh, yeah. My home, or hole. My name's Val. Franny, hi! It looks like my friends Bjorn and Bucky made a museum in your house. We thought your stuff was all from ancient times, from the Jurassic Middle Ages. Oh, genius time! Why not just pretend you're living in a museum for really awesome Middle Ages stuff, huh? I do kind of like it a lot. <laughs> my house did used to be quite a mess. And now there's a nice place for everything. Like there's my trusty shovel right there. Chicky, no touching! <laughs> I Get will have here. to charge admission, though. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm funny. Who's better? C 
me, Bjorn! What will we even do without my new fortress building machine? Right! It turned out really great. Although it kind of looks more like a shelter. Hi there, everyone! What a huge shelter you've built! It's a fortress! Ah, that's right, of course. I brought you some refreshments, freshly baked pies. That sounds awesome! The fortress needs its defenders to stay strong. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, huh? What a cool shelter! Only it's somewhat unstable, I think. It's a fortress! And you should know that it's... very stable. What is that? Well, I know a thing or two about fortresses. Here, I fixed it. All right, the fortress is built. It's time to go do some exercises. Up, and one more time. And a jump shot. And with my eyes covered. Amazing! Wow, incredible accuracy! Right, Franny? Normal accuracy. Do you even have any idea how accurate you have to be to bake a pie? Baked us some pastries. I think hiking is a great idea. All right then, Bears, let's go. And the pastries? I've baked enough of them myself. Not a very difficult thing to do, as it turns out. Franny, uh, maybe we could do it some other time? But don't worry about it, Franny. Once I'm back from the hike, I will make sure to finish all your pastries, too. That's what friends are for! <laughs> She is absolutely perfect! Yeah! She's a real leader! I've made. We should eat them while they are still fresh. Are you sure they are fresh? As fresh as it gets. You know, it kind of feels a little too heavy. Well, maybe I didn't get the recipe quite right. Not edible at all, huh? Who wants to have a raspberry bun? Me! Me! Me too! <laughs> Somehow I just knew you'd get very hungry. Thank you, Fran. I didn't realize that baking is so difficult. Can you teach me? Of course I'll teach you. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Our Franny is really amazing! How come we didn't notice that before? And we thought that baking pies is all that Franny knows how to do! That's right! But Franny, she can do just about anything! <laughs> boys are boys, even when they're bears. Kindness emitter. Here, this 
This is my new super robot. It can build things, cook food, play soccer, and it can also sing songs and dance. Taking walks and playing games when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're singing songs or reading books to Sammy, don't you dare say that it wasn't you who hit the button. Of course it was me. No one in this forest has such great aim. Or causes so much trouble. Go find yourself something else to shoot at. Taking walks and playing games when there's sunny weather. If there's rain. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, this is getting completely out of hand. We have to do something with Sammy. If he doesn't want to be nice, then we're going to make him that way. <laughs> The kindness ray. When we push this button, Sammy becomes nice and kind. If we push this button, he becomes himself again. But there's no way we'll want to use this option. That's for sure. Wait, wait. Oh, and here comes Sammy. Wait, stop right there. You need to be tamed. <laughs> Hey, Chicky, come over here, sweetie. I have some seeds and other treats that you might like. Aha! It actually worked! Listen, Sammy, that window you broke, do you maybe want to fix it? What? I broke it? How terrible. Must have been by accident. I am so clumsy. Of course I'll fix it. My pleasure! Everything. And now we can enjoy our tea. Oh, you guys are probably hungry. Please allow me to cook a lunch for you. One more jam sandwich. No. Franny, you hot? I can fan you if you want. No. Bucky, you haven't laughed for a while. Want to hear a joke? No. If you want to help, you know what? Go to my place and tidy it up a bit. Sure thing. My pleasure. I'm on it. Bucky, I'm starting to get really tired of this Sammy. Maybe we should turn him back the way he was, huh? Bucky, I... I was tidying up, and I wanted to wipe the dust off your robot, and accidentally broke something on it. It's not a big deal. I'll fix it later. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with it right now. <laughs> Going there. Oh, idea! Sammy, you still have your slingshot? Here it is. Wonderful. Now, can you see that red button on the robot? I need you to shoot it. Mm. No, I can't. It looks so cute. Bucky, we need our old Sammy back. Sammy, I bet you cannot hit that robot right on the button. What now? The robot? Piece of cake. Thank you so much, Sammy. Don't mention it. Sammy, you should always just be who you are. Well, I'm gonna go. It wasn't me. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> to get it all done. <laughs>
Ha! You're about to lose to a girl! Yeah, right! In your dreams! Score! Well, just like I said, no girl can score against me! Game's over! 5-0 raccoons have won! That's fine, Bjorn Bear! We're gonna have a rematch! Let's show these raccoons how it's done! No, Buck, I don't have time! I need to go get honey! And I need to go to the woods to collect berries for a pie! So what? That doesn't take long! I'll wait for you here! No, Bucky! Just to get to the woods? There's no way we can play today! Whatever! Without you, I'll have even greater chances to win! Chicky, you're the goalkeeper! No, no, Bucky. We're also leaving. We need to go to the river to catch some fish. Right. Oh, I have an idea! Wait here. I'll be right back! Here! I'm happy to present to you my new high-speed robotic flyers! They'll give you enough time for everything! What are you waiting for? Go do your things and come back as soon as possible. I'll wait for you here, and then I'll show you that there's a reason I was named Bucky the Awesome Goalkeeper. You can do things super fast now! Go home, then quickly come back to play soccer! That's so great! I think I have time to go to the stream, too! It's so fast now! Listen, Sonia, we didn't even go for a swim today. You're right, but we can do it before soccer. It's so fast! Brilliant! But I'm starting to feel kind of hungry. I think Franny was going to bake a pie. I can drop by her place before soccer. It's so fast! So, what's taking them so long? Everything's so fast with the flyers! Finally! It's been a while! Bucky, we won't be long! I'm going to the stream and back! I'll just get a pie and come back here. Bucky, can you wait a bit longer? It's so fast now. I'll pick some mushrooms and be back. We won't be long. more fuel left in my flyer. Hey, guys, same here. Oh, Bucky, couldn't fill the tank properly. Guys, Bucky's not here. So where did he go? Looks like he got tired of waiting and left. Oh, we wanted to do all those different things and forgot about Bucky. So what do we do now? I know exactly what to do. Uh, I guess the flyers I made aren't as fast as I thought. My friends wouldn't just forget about me. Bucky, forget about soccer. We play it every day. Let's organize a party instead. For the coolest goalkeeper. And a great inventor. <laughs> See, I told you that with my high-speed super flyers, you'll have time for everything. Now give me that cake. <laughs> Bucky News!
Hop! Now a turn. Aha! Another turn. A jump! Okay. Perfect. Looks like it's up and running. Opa! Oh, Bucky! Hello! Can you help me? Sammy, you got incredibly lucky to get stuck in this particular place. Cause now, I can use my new super crane to save you! Thank you, Bucky. And then Sammy is swooshing by on his skate, fast as the wind! Hello! Oh, what is this? This is Bucky presenting the latest news! At breakneck speed, he soars into the air and gets stuck! I'm sorry, did I miss something? And this story would have probably ended badly if it weren't for yours truly, Bucky the Bear! Bravely, I rushed in to get poor Sammy out of trouble, and here he is! <laughs> Bucky, you are really good at giving news. Just like on television. Yeah? That's right! I'm gonna start making my own new show. <laughs> Watching Bucky News. A super cool fishing rod with three hooks has been discovered in the middle of Bjorn's backyard. Dear me. Uh, I'll be right back. A giant orange tree strewn with delicious oranges grew under Franny's window. Oh, really? I'll go bake an orange pie for everyone. A roller drone has appeared next to the raccoon's house. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. And it fells. Uh, bells? Nothing interesting ever happens to me. Uh, that's not true! A uh, lemonade fountain sprung up at Val's place. See you next time. You've been watching Bucky News. Appeared in a pie forest. And as for Bjorn... Boy, they're way too impatient. Listen, guys. The next issue of Bucky News is not ready yet. Wait, 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 Bucky. You lied to us. There are no oranges whatsoever. And no roller drome either. Maybe there is a fountain, but I couldn't find it. Seriously? I just wanted everyone to have some fun, that's all. But it means this is not news. The news has to be about real life. I don't think we'll be watching Bucky News again. Hey, wait a minute. I just wanted everyone to have a good time. Bjorn, Franny. All right. If you want real life news, you'll get real life news. admit that no one really cares about my news. And we have breaking news today in our forest. There has been spotted a super bear and an inventor and our best friend, Bucky. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much, Bucky. Oh, wow. This is definitely some great news. Chickie's missing.
Here goes! Got it! Bam! Aha! Take this! <laughs> Catch it! Chicky, get the shuttlecock! Hi, guys! Have you seen Chicky around? The thing is, I've baked a pie for him, but he's nowhere to be found. I'll tell you for three slices of pie! Sure thing! Here, you can help yourselves! There's your Chicky! Oh, Chicky! There you are! I baked a pie for you! Here, try it! All right, then. I should go. Bye! Yeah, Franny makes the best pies! Oh, yeah! Only not enough! I know, I know! I have a plan that will help us score more pies from Franny! Chicky, let's go to our place! <laughs> There, Chicky. Go play. So, when Franny goes out to look for Chicky again, I will tell her where he is for five... No, 25 pies! What a terrific idea! Chicky! These are my things! Don't touch them! Oh, well then, I'm off to check if Franny is already looking for Chicky. Hi there, Franny. Have you seen Chicky around? Hello. Running somewhere, I guess. Are you about to start baking a pie? Not now. Why? No, nothing. Well, I'll see you later. Chicky, wait! Check again. Maybe Franny has already started looking for this hunk. Sammy, maybe it's better if I go to Franny? Nah, I'll go myself. And you, little punk, stay away from my things! Yeah! Take Sonia's! They're prettier! You're not working on the pie yet? Not at the moment, no. And one and two and three and four. Maybe a bit later. Oh, I see, I see. So you're not going to go looking for Chicky either. Mm -hmm. All right then, Franny. See you later. Why are you here? Where's Chicky? I just can't stay in there any longer. I don't even want pies anymore. Chicky? Why are you bullying? Here's your chicky. Chicky, do you want your pie with jam or condensed milk? Well, we're gonna go. Already? What about the pie? You can give our share to this little yellow punk. But chicky is not a punk. Chicky is a very polite and well-behaved chicken. Chicky, where are you going? No! Don't go! What is it? What about the pie? What is going on here? Water, water everywhere. I'm 
cooking up the thunder. You ready for it? Here it comes. Come out. Glam. Thunder, baby. Huh? The score is ten to zero. Bjorn and Bucky are winning. Ha! If you thought the thunder was tough, wait till you see the hurricane. Stop talking and put your birdie where your mouth is. Huh? Huh? Here comes the thunder for real. Stop it. Don't rain. We were just about to win. But you didn't win, did you? Almost doesn't count. No prob. We'll just call it a draw. Never. I'll be back. Genius time. Oh, I am not, not winning the game. Hey, Mr. Rain, your timing is lame. But there's some sweet, sweet victory to claim. And when there's lots of thunder to tame, Bucky's the name. The rain go away eyes are tronomatic. Press, 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 slide. And bye-bye, rain. So now, badminton, anyone? Everyone in place? Right, it's 10 to 0, Bjorn and Bucky winning. And it's Bucky's serve. Ready for the hurricane, the Bucky Typhoon? Here it comes, cups, blow! Uh... Oh. Just hang loose, I'll bring it back. Uh-uh, Bucky. I do not feel like getting beat today. Press a Rooney. Yeah. Bye. Slide. Press, press. Slide. Uh, break. Easy. Just calm down. Ah! Bucky, I think something's wrong with your machine. You need to check it. Don't worry, Bjorn. It's fine. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Well, looks like badminton is very rained out. Goodness, and I was supposed to be making apple juice today. Bucky, can't you do something? No panicking. If I can only find a way to get to my machine, I can sort this out. Great. Sailing, sailing over the forest green. All I need to do is get down there and slide the lever. I'll come along, Bucky, my buddy. I'm a little worried about the boys. Franny, it's going to be all right. Bucky's sure to save us. Okay, now, let's see what's going on. We can't do it. The lever fell off, and you can't turn off the machine without it. The lever's under a stump. Sammy, how could you know where it is? Sammy, you did all this? It was an accident. I wanted to turn the storm loose so we wouldn't lose the game. I'll make it right. Over, guys. Me too. No more messing around with nature, all right? It's too dangerous. That was exciting. What's next? What do you mean? Ten to zero. Sammy, get ready to be beaten. Are you prepared to face my super thunder? Huh? Come on, really? So it's a draw then? Rats. Super rats. <laughs> 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 Girls versus boys. <laughs> right. Who wants 
another piece of pie. Me! I'd like five! Look, fellas! I made some apple juice! Awesome, Franny! <laughs> we are just so lucky to have you guys. Ditto! Right, let's mm -hmm. go play. Thanks a lot. Oh, why don't you guys come watch us? From this moment on, boys and girls will live completely apart. Sammy, wait a sec. Bjorn, Sammy's right. It's not like it's hard to bake pies. This is guy land. Ha! And this is girl land. Uh-uh. Manly stuff and girly things Like playing war and flower swing Like turbo racing skateboard kings Like bracelets, dresses, and earrings Selfies with a made up face A three-way arrow rocket race With boys and girls in a separate space Then everything stays in its place Yeah, out of mind is out of sight The separation's pure delight But there's a feeling I can't quite fight Something's not right. Ah, another pie? There's no room for another one. Hmm? Goodness! Gosh, Franny, what happened? <laughs> the oven must be broken or something. Do you know how to fix it? When I have a problem, I like to dress up nice. We could give the oven a makeover, right? Nah, Sonia, I think... The, the dumb, dumb boys. boys! Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Hmm. Carrot puffs again. But these are Cool Ranch. It's a new flavor. We've never had it before, right? Uh, I imagine the girls are eating some kind of cake. Um, I was thinking something. Yeah, I've been thinking too, Buck. Can we please just go and do what we've all been thinking, guys? I'll just say it, okay? We were incredibly wrong. We were dumb. Girls can absolutely play basketball. Listen, guys. We took things too far ourselves. Can you help? My oven's broken pretty badly. I would love to help you. Then we can have peace? Sammy's got the ball, but there's no way he's getting past Sonia. Catch, capable female teammate! And fleet-footed Franny the Fox dribbles down the court! She lines up her shot, swish! Franny, excellent shot! And the score is 14 to 0. <laughs> Franny, listen, could you go bake a pie? It's the only way my side will win. <laughs> The missing cake. Making super yummy cakes right in Franny's oven. La la la. Full of cream and berries and lots of friendly loving. La la la. <laughs> you missed me. Oh, 
I missed you, did I? Huh, not for long! You're the worst shot ever! Huh? What's that? It says, costume party at Franny's. Everyone's invited! Yummy cake for everybody who dresses up! That sounds great! We should really go! But look, it's a costume party. Feel like coming up with a costume? Nah. Me neither. Hmm, but I think I might have an idea. Party down, it's party time! Gonna bust a move and bust our rhyme! Yeah, the atmosphere is just sublime! We are boogie-loving mammals in our boogie-loving prime! It's party time, so party down! Yo, it's so darn fun in party town! But I don't remember how to frown! I'm the party king in my party crown! Hey! All right, then! Are you ready for yummy cake? Goodness! The cake's gone! Franny! So, I was up all night making this costume just so I could get some cake! But it was just here! It was! Whoa, Chicky, awesome costume! Way cooler than the horse thing! Yo, where is the horse thing? It must have just wandered off somewhere. Uh-huh. Wandered off with the whole cake! All right, then. This is me. That was Franny. Chicky's there. That means the thief is... You're, You're right. right. It can't be true. I just don't believe it. You don't understand bears. Desserts can make them lose all control. But, Bucky, you're a bear as well. And I'm bonkers for sweets. I worked on that costume all night just for cake, remember? It's called Cake Insanity, or C.I. Shh. We should catch him by surprise. Ha-ha! Now where's the cake? Hey, what's going on? Just working on my costume. It's a boat. I think it's getting there. Oh, oh gee. It looks like my boat just sank. Bjorn, the party is pretty much done already. For real? Ah, oh, I took too long. Enough games! We all know you were at the party earlier as a no-good robbing horse! I've just been here, promise! My first costume was a horse, but it disappeared, which is why I made this dumb bow mm -hmm. costume. It's true, Buck. Yeah, yeah, hand it over! Or did you already eat it? I've got a nose for cake. I'm like a cake bloodhound! Or blood cake hound. Then the horsey at the party wasn't you? That's right. I hung my horse costume right over here. But later, when I wanted it, it wasn't there at all. Hey, look! Isn't that Sammy's slingshot? Sonia, have you seen my slingshot? Don't think so. Aha! Huh? You mean this? Looking for this? Yeah? We're looking for a cake, raccoons. Really? Uh, what cake, guys? Look, that's the box the cake was in, boys. And look, there's my horse costume. You'd better Ooh. cough up that cake. Where is it? Mm. Here. Here. Then you've already eaten it? Don't worry about it, Franny. I've got a feeling someone's baking us a whole new one. Uh. For goodness sake, who would choose to commit Grand Theft Cake? It would be a huge mistake. That cake's not yours to take. And the apology you'll have to make is the big we're sorry cake you bake. Okie dokie, here it is. That looks really yummy, you two. Thanks. Well, if it's good, I'm the one to thank. Yeah, right. All you did was mess it up. Hmm. No, you messed it up. Nuh uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Belle's talent. No! No, 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 no! Super no! Catch it! Got it. Oops, dropped it. Belle! Guys, I'm sorry, I sincerely am. 
I didn't mean it. Uh, it's not a problem, but listen, it's our, uh, bedtime. Right, Ooh. time to turn in. You should go visit Bucky. Oh, hi there, Val. Come in, come in. Hi there. Bucky, can I ask, are my arms all right? Good question. Well, hold them out. Seven out of ten. Well, the raccoons told me I'm ham-fisted. Here you go. We're going on an expedition in a cave. Can you change that light bulb for me? They're over on that shelf. Ah, I'm happy to. Give me a second. <sighs> Aw, oh, Val! You're such a klutz. But you've revealed a structural flaw in my shelves. They shouldn't wobble like this. I need to lock these things down. Thanks for your help, my friend. Gosh, my pleasure. Is there anything else I can check? Sure. Take this ladder out and check it while I clean this up. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll clean this up, all right? Hi, Bucky. Oh, uh, what have you guys been doing in here? Well, Val and I have just been quality testing some things. And I made a mess, exactly like I always do. I'm just completely useless. Hey, Val, come on. There's got to be something special only you can do well. Really? Uh, but like what, though? A talent of some sort, like singing or dancing or drawing stuff. Hey, why don't you come with us to the cave? Thanks, but I'm going to try to find my talent. I'm looking for Freddy. Hey, you! So, Val, how did you get here? Freddy, hey, guess what? I found my talent! Why are you all standing here in the dark? <laughs> That's better, right? Ah, no, where was I? Oh, yes, I found my talent! I'm going to sing. Oh, goody. Hey, here comes the mole with soul. Lord, he's on a funky uh... roll. Well, guys, am I good? Uh, yeah, it was all right. Do you think maybe you could get us out of this hole by any chance? Yes, of course. I can help you. Uh, this way, everyone. Just follow me. Traveler ever! I'm what? The best? Do you really think that? A hundred percent! That's right, Val! You found your special talent at last! La, 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 la. 